106.7 WIZ, and that is Stevie Nicks in the edge of 17. Heard the Scorpions and no one like you before that. Joe Vega here with you in your Wednesday Rocket Ride Home. And I'm joined now by Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Hello, Paul. Hey, Joe. How are you? I'm doing well. So I wanted to ask you about this uh, state of New York uh, legislature, which is poised to pass uh, a series of sweeping criminal justice reforms this week, including requiring state troopers to wear body cameras and repealing a 44-year-old statute blocking public access to police officers' disciplinary records. Yeah. So what can you tell us about this? Well, you know, I think that... uh a couple things for sure are going to pass. One is going to be the body cams for the state police officers. And, you know, there's some upside to everybody. The state police officers get to, you know, right. they get to have it taped and they get to kind of have a rendition of the facts to report. Yeah. And then you've got more disclosure to everybody, right? So I think that that is going to pass. Also, they're going to bar chokeholds. Uh, no chokeholds uh, when you are subduing a suspect. Um, most of the counties right. don't allow it now, but some do. So that's going to be interesting law. You know, and then, of course, the hot button you mentioned, you know, is this 50A of the civil service law. And it really is going to allow for freedom of information requesters uh-huh. to find out if police or firefighters or corruption officers uh, have had complaints against them and, and what the dispositions of them were. What are the possible negative aspects of that? Yeah, you know, I guess it, it can be kind of one of those things where, you know, you're innocent to proven guilty approach to life. And right. it's so true, right? So somebody could just kind of use that as a weapon and kind of uh-huh. say, hey, you know, I'm going to do this and say that. And, and then it gets dismissed immediately. But if they start looking at every time somebody is giving a complaint against you, well, you know, maybe number of complaints versus what the actual complaint was. I mean, at the end of the day, police involvement generally is they're in a situation. They're not wanted there. It's generally adversarial and it's right. generally something going on that's not normally going on. Right. So by definition, there's conflict. And by yep. definition, there's going to be high high temperature going on around yeah. that interaction. So probably the upside is just the public will know more what's happening. They can use that. You know, maybe some officers don't get invited back. Maybe some officers uh, don't get that promotion. But also, it, it, as long as these things are carefully looked at, I mean, right. again, most police officers are doing fantastic. And exactly. There's always that yeah. Yeah. bad apple, and we don't want to you know, paint a picture of there being this, this epidemic of this. But by the same token, disclosure will prove that. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. All right. See you, Joe. Remember, you can call Paul at any time or any of the fine lawyers at Martin Harding and Mazzotti at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. All right. I'm out of here. Turn things over to Mel Allen. Now he's got music from Rush in Boston next.